Hi everyone, I'm Laurel Marie Hickey. Welcome to What's Blank Got to Do With It. Our What's Blank topic today, suddenly wealthy. So what's suddenly wealthy got to do with it? Unexpected financial gains can drastically change your financial situation. Whether it be from entrepreneurial success, the inheritance of a loved one, a windfall of some sort, investment growth, or perhaps that you have a lucrative contract or an endorsement deal. Just to name a few, there are many ways that wealth can suddenly come into your life. And it's very important to reach out to professionals to help you with your next steps. The journey of sudden wealth is one of embracing opportunity as well as managing responsibility. There are some challenges when you come into sudden wealth and it is certainly a time of excitement. There are some key aspects to navigate sudden wealth, including financial management, personal growth, social responsibility. First step is really understanding your new financial landscape. Everything is new and it's important for you to have a comprehensive understanding of your financial situation. The goal is to have a written plan. Seek guidance of professionals that can help you with all of your decisions, looking at accountants, financial planners, estate planners. The goal is to have a clear overview of your debts, your assets, your taxes, your investments. You want to lay the foundation for any financial decisions that you make in the future. Next up will be some long-term financial planning. You want a written plan, as I've mentioned. Yes, newfound wealth will provide an immediate sense of relief. There's no doubt. It gives you a sense of security, of excitement, but it is essential to develop a long-term financial plan. You'll want to consider your short as well as your long-term goals, retirement investing, charitable giving, family, philanthropy, diversification of investments, having a balanced approach and ensuring that you are investing in a way that you're aligned with is important. You also have the same money story as before. Yes, the numbers are bigger, but your process, what you have done your whole life leading up to this sudden wealth doesn't just go away. So really honor your disciplines, honor your approaches. If you're a spreadsheet person, continue to write everything down in a spreadsheet and continue to download in the way that you normally do. Your money story is the same and numbers are just different. They might have a few more digits attached to them. It's really about understanding your current needs as well as your aspirations, and you'll definitely want to do some legacy planning. When you understand your new financial landscape, when you have your team of professionals working with you, it's time for you to work on some other things as well. Not just finance, but also a few other areas that you will want to increase your knowledge with. Educate yourself. There may be some new languaging with this newfound wealth, investment strategies, tax strategies. Choosing a team to manage this new fund well does come with discussions. It's your money, your decisions. It's your choice what you would like to do. And you really wanna make sure that your team understands you and that you have a comfort level to talk with your team openly. Being actively involved in these decisions really helps to empower you and really helps you feel that you do have control of this newfound wealth, that you are doing all the things that you've always done when you have made your decisions in the past. Embrace lifestyle changes. Close your eyes for a moment. I really think if you have newfound wealth or if you have newfound wealth, close your eyes and really think, what does that mean to you? Are there some visions that come into your mind? Are there some things you want to action out right away? It's an opportunity once you open your eyes to really do a download of all those things that came to you when you thought of your newfound wealth. There's always a temptation to indulge in spending extravagance when you have sudden wealth. Treating yourself and your loved ones is natural. It is important to avoid lifestyle inflation. So you might feel anxious about spending, you might have regret after you spend. So if you have that plan in place, if you have your written plan in place and you do spend, you'll know that I've accounted for this, I have plenty, I've got my loved ones taken care of, my business is taken care of, I have my life taken care of. It's really great to have a plan in place regardless of newfound wealth. 
seek emotional support. You really want to have friends and family around you, those that understand your financial journey and are there with you to help navigate next steps. A support network. You may have health professionals even assisting you with the newfound emotions that come with this newfound wealth. Maintaining a low profile. Sudden wealth can certainly bring a lot of attention and you really want to make sure that you're making decisions that are secure and supportive of you and your financial journey. It's crucial to safeguard your financial information, your personal information. Exercise caution when providing details of your financial situation. Seek financial advice when engaging in financial transactions. Confidentiality is very important. Philanthropy, giving back, paying it forward. I recently attended a due diligence in New York in the spring and we had an expert uh, speak with us on estate planning. Now with estate planning, I've always really liked the discussion because I think it's important to talk about beyond us. And so this individual had some terrific advice. He really said there are three strong areas that you have to look at when you are talking about estate planning. And the first is number one, who of course would you leave your wealth to? So if you've had sudden wealth from a loved one, they probably have had this discussion, this thought process. And when you're thinking about your own sudden wealth and leaving that to someone someday, really think about who that would be. So who are your people? Who is your person? Is it a corporation? Whatever it might be, is it philanthropy? So really thinking about who your next is. The second thing that he shared, and I, and I don't know if I'm saying it in the right way, but I'll, I'll share what I remember of it. He said, when you are giving away your wealth, will they manage the money in the same way that you did? So interesting, right? So having that discussion and sharing how you did manage your wealth in your lifetime, if that's important to you to know how that money will be spent when you are no longer here, have that discussion as part of your estate plan. Number three, will you be forgotten? So this was a big one. If many people do want to still be part of something, they want to leave a legacy. So it's very important to have that discussion. If you want a legacy, if you really want to leave something that will continue on and on for years, I really feel that asking these three questions of yourself is important in estate planning. And it really has up leveled the discussions that I've had with my own clients since that meeting. Being suddenly wealthy, you have an incredible opportunity to make a positive impact on society. Consider engaging in philanthropy if that is something that is important to you. You want to do something that resonates with your values and with your passions. You can research causes or organizations that you're aligned with. You can contribute your resources, your time, your expertise, and make a difference in the world while you're here. Becoming suddenly wealthy is a life altering event that creates opportunity and responsibility. Take some time for yourself. It's okay to leave your money set for a while. Don't change your lifestyle until you have a plan in place. You may need to grieve if you have lost a loved one. Really honor how you feel. You might need some time to write down your dreams and desires and really think about what you want to do with your newfound wealth. Take some time to choose a trusted team. Very important. Your wealth advisory team, do you feel comfortable with them managing your newfound wealth? A state lawyer, this is a good time to update your will, your powers of attorney, your personal directive. Banking, premium and private bankers, your banking needs may change and you will have a lot of distribution of funds. So it's important that you have a really good relationship with your banker. Tax accountants, your tax plan will need to be reviewed with this newfound wealth. I hope I've explained a little bit about sudden wealth. Take time for reflection. Surround yourself with a trusted team. Plan for the unexpected. Prioritize asset protection and estate planning. Embrace continued learning and growing. Give back thoughtfully and strategically. Cultivate gratitude and graciousness.
As always, I'm here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Laurel Marie Hickey with 3A Global Wealth of National Bank Financial.